Hi, welcome back to Mrs. O'Gram's Maths. Today we are looking at solving systems of equations algebraically, so when you can't use your graphics calculator and you need to do it by hand. And I'm going to use the same set of equations that we did use on the video that was um, using the calculator to do it. So you can see that the same methods for both um, both ways of doing it for this, this same set of equations. Okay, so I'm going to label these up so I can talk about what I'm doing as I go. Now I'm going to use the elimination method. So um, I'm looking for places on these equations where I have coefficients that are the same or that I can make them the same. So I'm going to look at um, equation 1 and 2. They have the same um, coefficient for y except one's a plus one and one's a minus one. So if I added those two equations together I would eliminate the y. So if I do one plus two then I will get in the x's I will get 4x. The y's would be eliminated that's why we're doing this and then I get 3z um, is equal to 18 plus 6 makes 24. Now I'm left with an equation that still has two unknowns in it, the x and the z. So I need another equation that has x and z in it so that I can eliminate um, those ones or one of them anyway. So um, if I take equation two and three, I can do something there to try and eliminate the y. But first of all, I'll need to double equation number two so that those um, coefficients of the y are the same size. So if I do two times equation number two and then add equation three I will be eliminate able to eliminate the y so two times equation two on the x's is going to be six x and then add the two x from equation three then we will get eight x if I double the y then I get minus two y plus two y so that eliminates and that's what I wanted to happen um, and then two times the two z makes four z add on equation 3 which is a negative z so we get plus 3z equals and then we've got 2 times the 18 is 36 um, add the 0 and then I'm going to label this one as equation 4 and this equation 5 so I can keep track of what we're doing next so now I've got two equations with two unknowns in the x's and the z's. Um, I've got, the, helpfully, the 3z is also the same magnitude um, in both of those equations, so I don't need to do any multiplying up. What I can do straight away is do one subtract the other. And I'm going to do the bigger one of the other things, take away the, the smaller one. So I'm going to do 5 take away number 4. So if I do the this 8x that we've got here minus the 4x, um, we will get the um, x's will be 4x, the 3z minus 3z it gets to nothing, and then the 36 minus 24 is 12, so therefore x is 3. Now once we've got what x is, we can pop it back into either equation 4 or 5 to work out z. So if I substitute into equation 4, then we get... Um, that we've got 4 times 3, let me just type that up, 4 times 3 plus 3z equals 24, so z must be 4. And finally, we substitute into one of the original equations to get y. I'm going to use equation 1 because it's the simplest. So we get, um, oops, we know what x is. We've got 3 plus y plus 4 equals 6 so therefore y must be minus 1 and now we have all of our solutions x is 3 z is 4 y is minus 1 